Hunter Biden, Joe Biden. Let me clarify something here briefly. This story is not important to Rust Belt swing voters if it only stays on Hunter Biden. It's not. If this goes to Joe Biden, which there's already a mountain of evidence it does, then it is important. But if this stays with Hunter Biden, it's good campaign fodder for the right. I don't think it moves voters in the middle at all. That said, Joe Biden's refusal to answer any questions on it, getting a little creepy, and that's the good news. He will not be discussing uh, an investigation of his son with any attorney general candidates. He will not be discussing it with anyone he is considering for the role, and he will not be discussing it with a future attorney general. It will be up to the purview of a future attorney general in his administration to determine how to handle any investigation. As you know, U.S. attorneys are, uh, that's a personnel decision. We're, we're far from there at this point in the process, given we haven't announced yet an attorney general, a commerce secretary, a labor secretary, an education secretary. Secretary. We have a few more to go, uh, but we're going to uh, allow the process to work how it should, which is uh, for a Justice Department to be run independently by the Attorney General at the top. Yeah. You believe that? You're not going to worry about it. Believe me, Joe Biden's not going to ask his Attorney General whether he's going to get involved in the felony investigation of his son. Come on. Who believes that? But A.G. Barr got up today gave a little press conference, and he had this to say, and I want you to listen. I want you to listen closely. I'm not telling you to hate Barr. I'm not telling you to love Barr, but we're going to have just a brief chat when he's done here. Um, off topic, um, you know, do you believe there should be a special counsel appointed to investigate the allegations against Hunter Biden? I think to the extent that uh, there's an inv investigation, I think that it's being handled responsibly and professionally uh, currently within the the department and to this point i have not seen a reason to appoint a special counsel and i have no plan to do so before i leave yeah i don't know who i believe more i don't know if i believe biden when he says he's not gonna ask his ag about hunter biden or Barr when he says there's no reason to think the investigations being politicized, going poorly. Was A.G. Barr watching the past four years? We still have investigations going on into the malfeasance we already know about of the CIA, FBI, DOJ, FISA warrants that shouldn't have been issued. It's time to stop with these pie-in-the-sky notions about the way we want life to be and accept life the way it is. The way it is is this. Our federal bureaucracies, including the FBI, have been infected at the highest levels with Democrat operatives who will do the bidding of Democrats and actively work against Republicans. And if Republicans can't just simply acknowledge that and act on that, we are finished. As long as we come up with this complete fairy tale land idea, the watch, the FBI, they're nonpartisan. Brother, have you been watching? Of course they're not nonpartisan. And what do you think Joe Biden's going to do the second he gets in there? Of course he's going to put in an AG who's going to drop the whole thing like a hot potato. Oh, he won't do it right away. They'll do an extensive investigation at the end of which they'll find a couple little minor things and he'll get a little slap on the wrist and we'll call it a day. How can people not see this? I'm an idiot and I see this as clear as day. How can they not see this? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.